Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our gear change ignition cut we're going to be working with in our fuel tech manager software. So the gear change ignition cut is going to allow us to have full throttle shifting without using a clutch. This is going to be if you have a sequential or a dog box style transmission, or it's going to be an H pattern or again, if it's going to be sequential, it'll have just a shift lever. It's going to utilize a strain gauge or a load cell. That's going to allow us to translate a certain amount of force that we're putting into the shifter into a voltage range that we can set up to cut our ignition or pull our ignition timing or do the combination of both. We're gonna have a whole bunch of flexibility for this. So I'm gonna walk you through all the details you need to know for either situation for using a load cell or a strain gauge for sequential or an H pattern transmission. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at our power shift or the gear change ignition cut feature in our Field Tech Manager software. This is gonna allow us to use a strain gauge to have clutchless upshifting or downshifting when we're utilizing a dog box or a sequential style transmission. Let's go and take a look at this really, really quick and setting it up. It's actually relatively simple, but there's some details that we need to know and pay attention to to make sure it's gonna function correctly. First and foremost, we're gonna go here into our quick access panel. We're gonna move down here under our engine settings and go here to map options. Under map options, we'll go to the other functions section here. And we're gonna move down into power shift gear change ignition cut. Let's turn this on. Let's also do a write to ECU. Now I am in the real time disabled status, so it's not gonna real time write that. Uh, when I select it, that's why I'm uh, going in and actually uploading it. So going back into our other functions section, if we move down here, we'll find power shift gear change ignition cuts going to appear. Uh, we can click on it and we can start to talk about this. Now we have two different options here under the gear shifter sensor type. We have a strain gauge, we have amplified shifter load cell. Now the strain gauge is going to be what you choose if you're using the fuel tech strain gauge. So if you're using an aftermarket strain gauge assembly, you'll select your second option here, the amplified shifter load cell. So real quickly, let's talk about the wiring. There is going to be a little bit of a wiring differences when you're wiring this in. If we go down here to wire harness diagram under our engine settings, we'll find here pins 33 and 34 is going to find strain gauge N, strain gauge P. These two wires are going to be associated with wiring in your fuel tech strain gauge assembly. If we're running an aftermarket strain gauge, not the actual fuel tech, but something else, we'll be wiring it into any other white wires we find in our input list here. So actually let's jump in here. If we go into our inputs, um, let's take a look here. We find our 19 and 20. These two are gonna be fixed. We can actually change them. We can, if we go here to try to select something else, it's uh, going to give us issues. So we're going to just uh, designate pins 19 and 20 here and assume that we're running those and wiring those into using a fuel tech strain gauge. Now, I'm gonna be assuming that I'm not going to do that. I'm actually gonna be illustrating this with an aftermarket fuel, uh, fuel, uh, strain gauge, so we don't have to worry about using the fuel tech strain gauge um, if you don't want to. So let's go here to uh, number four input here, and I'm gonna select it under the default name. I'm actually gonna be selecting here amplified shifter load cell as my option. Now under the default, we're gonna find amplified shifter load cell sensor. We can see it's gonna be zero volt, zero value, five volt, five value. Now it is a zero to volt sensor and we're only going to be taking a look at the voltage. So we don't need to do anything here with a custom. Um, typically we're just going to be able to just run what we find right here. So it's going to be looking at our raw voltage coming from our actual strain gauge. Let's jump back in here now that we've set this up and actually do a right to easy real quick. We can take a look at this. Now there's going to be some things we need to know when we're talking about either the fuel tech strain gauge assembly or at using a, a different aftermarket brand strain gauge assembly. So if we go here, let's go actually pop. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.